Toastmasters and Jukta, to and from Toastmasters for life and love, to and from Toastmasters for life and love, Toastmasters and Jukta. No success is greater than you sitting just like Vivek Aroda. If you see his picture now, I have had a good life and I am happy. This single carrot or goal is what each one of us take donkey years to persuade, to attain life's goals, which is nothing but to get that quality of life to be contented. It also includes livelihood. So whatever learning, development, growth, that we want to attain. It's towards life and love, which brings happiness. Hence, to and from Toastmasters for life and love. Good afternoon, presiding officer, Toastmaster of the day, my dear evaluator, Toastmasters, and future storytellers. When I and my family and all of us here in KTC also entered into this wonderful year, uniquely new normal COVID year, there was one vision that I decided to take. Whatever learnings and whatever positivity, integrity, and the kind of management that Toastmaster teaches, I decided to use it to attain a single vision that with my family and my friends, we'll be happy, we'll stay positive, and hence, we would be contented no matter what. That is what my high performance leadership project was, is, and would be. Now, I have already shared in my first speech the kind of planning that I started, who my guidance committee were or are. They included my family and my best friend. But there's one more guidance committee member I had to mention. What's in it for us in Toastmasters? Well, that's not the objective of my speech. Don't get confused. Toastmasters is also one of the guidance committee members in my high performance leadership project. Now, while I started doing this project, sorry, actually leading life, I would share three main aspects which made the difference. The first aspect, me being me, my avocation, being positive and ensuring positivity. For that, I had to start interactions with my family in a more frequent way. I had to keep on asking them what they are thinking, how they are thinking. We had to plan to think positively, plan on meetings and periodic weekly connects. We started bringing on table topics. You have to speak on your seven favorite seven course meal. You have to speak on where would you want to travel and why? What if you won 100 billion pounds? What would you do with it? Things like this. We have a weekly meeting with my family. Now, why do we do this? This only imbibes the brain cells to think positive. And when you're thinking positive, all those worries and those news, whether the vaccine is coming, go at the back of your mind you are practicing and making it a habit or hobby of your mind to think positive. And we decided to do exactly that. Another challenges would keep on happening. Another example of those challenges that I want to share. My dad, he fell off the stairs and his left hand side was totally hurt. He had thrombosis for three weeks. Now, my dad and me, we are very positive, but I still worried because he couldn't go to the doctor 
and it was worrisome. We had to observe that it goes down. What I had to do then was a much bigger task. Training myself to be positive was easy. I had to speak to my sister, who is an epitome of stress. She is just the opposite of what you all see in Sanjukta. I had to go on a one-on-one -on -one persuasive influence speech where I had to tell her the pros and cons of being positive and riding on the hobby horses of negativity and the cons of it. And believe me, I use the CRC approach. I'm not kidding there. And it worked. So she was convinced that before she spoke to my parents, she showed positivity, even though we were worried. So this is how we sustain it. Just last week, we started talking about winning a lottery. And I won a 1 billion pound lottery. I did a lot of things, but not mixology. The second aspect, now to sustain something which is good, you have to give it a first bang. Like, you know, you give that shock, that electric shock to get the heart going. And that's exactly what we did, beginning of the year. Zoom blast, I have already told you all the story, 50th anniversary. Again, my learnings in Toastmasters, organizing milestone meetings, being a part of different Toastmasters meeting, facilitating 80 guests together in a convention. All these helped me to bring my family and friends together to be happy. What ended in that thing was they all realized two most important things. That COVID made us realize that we don't need to communicate physically always. Virtually, we can connect and live our life together and happily. The second thing they realized, no matter what happens this year, we would still be together. We would still have lots of fun. And that is how it went on. The third aspect is keeping your body smiling. And yes, I walk that talk. I walk. I share status messages that makes others walk and stay fit. That is how this continues. My parents have started walking and you all have to live together. Your mind happy, your heart happy, but your body also needs to smile. I am doing it and I plan to do it for more. Over to the Toastmaster of the day.